All right, well, let's jump in. Since we haven't talked in a while, we're going to start with some of the big changes we've seen here with the Raiders. And, of course, you have to start a quarterback. I mean, Fitz, you know this is a quarterback-driven league. They say goodbye to Derek Carr. That whole weirdness around Carr, people love him, hate him, and nobody in between, it seems like. Now you move on to Jimmy Garoppolo. Give me your thoughts on this and what you're thinking about uh, the position and what a Jimmy Garoppolo means for the Raiders versus what a Derek Carr-led team was like. Uh, this was the most predictable move of the entire NFL offseason. Um, it's something that I sort of screamed from the mountaintops early on. I don't think that that's original. I think a lot of people saw this coming. And the funny thing is sometimes what you have to do, even as a fan, is you have to remove your heart from the equation and just put mm -hmm. the shoes on the other foot game. You have to use total logic. So if I'm Josh McDaniels, and what I know is I have two different objectives. Objective number one is I want to build a team that long-term can compete with the Kansas City Chiefs consistently year in and year out. Objective number two is I'm not going to survive a bunch of really bad years. So I've got to win enough games to show everybody that I'm going in the right direction. I will add a third objective. And the third objective is how can I bring people in that can help teach my system, my culture, and the way I want to do business? All of those things together – led me to Jimmy G. Uh, Jimmy G's got an injury history that's well-documented. There's been a lot of conversation about who San Francisco did or didn't trust going into the Super Bowl. But let's remember, he went into the fourth quarter of a Super Bowl against Kansas City with the lead. They didn't get it done. How much different would we view him in this moment? So to me, yeah. Jimmy G is the sort of the, the spot nobody wants to be in. You got a pretty good quarterback. Like, it's just, he's pretty good. And if he's healthy, he's going to be pretty good. But more importantly, think back to Jimmy G, the teammate. Have we ever heard a negative word from anybody about Jimmy G, the teammate, or Jimmy G, the teacher? Even Trey Lance, through all of he's gone through in San Francisco, has always come out and said positive things about Jimmy G. I think if you just look back a few years ago, I think what the Raiders did in Jimmy G is they got themselves in Alex Smith. Now, they still need to go out and get themselves a Patrick Mahomes, but right. you've got <laughs> to get in Alex Smith. And that's the, the key part of this. I, I I know people don't like hearing it because it's not sexy, but this team is trying <laughs> to figure out the way to bridge the gap to being long-term competitive. 